Hey, it's Studio Press TV, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at how to import demo content for a child theme. We've been asked a lot of times if it's possible to install the demo theme's content onto a fresh installation of WordPress. And the reason a lot of people are asking this is that they wonder if it's possible if they can work backwards to understand how the themes are configured. Well, it just so happens that it is. We include in every theme download an XML file that uh, will give you demo content that you can install onto your site and you can get a good idea of how the theme is laid out and how it works. So right now what we're looking app is a test installation and uh, there is no content there's no posts there's no pages there's no menus there's no anything in this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the demo content and I'm gonna show you just how easy that is now every time you download a Genesis child theme it's gonna come with a folder called XML now let me show this to you real quickly here I'm going to go to my downloads and you notice that I have the 1140 zip theme and then I have my 1140 folder which I've uh, uncompressed. So as I open up that 1140 folder it's going to show me all the files that are included as well as a folder called XML and this is the file that contains all of the demo content. Now to get that demo content onto our site we're going to have to go into the WordPress administration area and import it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make sure that we're logged in as an administrator and we are so we're gonna go down to the tools menu and the reason we have to be logged in as an administrator is because the tools menu will not show up unless you are logged in as an admin so we'll go to tools and then we're gonna to go to import and you'll notice that we have a lot of different uh, systems that we can import content from. Now this is a WordPress import, so we're going to choose WordPress. Now if this is your first time to import onto your site, it's going to ask you to download the WordPress installation plugin. It's an automatic download. You go ahead and do that, and then you're going to have to come back to this screen. So download the plugin and then go back to Tools Import, and then go back in here and click WordPress. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose the file that we've downloaded, that XML file, so we're going to go ahead and click choose file and I'll go to my downloads into 1140 into my XML folder and then I have that XML file right there. I'm going to choose open, click the upload file and import button and now it's going to ask me if I want to assign an author to existing content. So what is happening here is this content was automatically created by somebody else it has an author that's been assigned to it in this case it's Brian Gardner now uh, if you want Brian Gardner to be uh, you know the author of your post on your site then you can go ahead and import the author Brian Gardner or you can create a new user or you can assign post to an existing user which I'm gonna go ahead and just do that I'm just gonna assign it to the current admin you can also download and import file attachments so if there's images that are attached to the post you can download and import those as well um, now typically for the XML files there's not going to be images attached to that uh, now if you're doing this from another type of XML file in uh, import from maybe somebody else's site or your own site that may be the case but a lot of these will not have the images attached to them so we're gonna go ahead and click submit it's gonna go through the process of importing all those posts from that XML file and once that's finished importing what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to go to our post pages and menus and see all the things that it's imported so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the posts and you'll notice now that I have a whole bunch of new posts that are here available to me if I go to my pages, I have all these pages that are now available, all the, all the different pages, lots of pages that were created. In fact, over 20 different pages uh, were included there. And then also I have some menus which we'll show you here in a second. So now to get this set up, I want to make sure that everything is looking okay in our actual site. So I'm going to go back to my site. I'm going to refresh it. And you'll notice now that I have all those posts. I still don't have a menu. We have to go actually turn that on. So we'll go do that real quickly here to go to Appearance menus I'm going to choose primary navigation and hit save we'll go back and notice my primary navigation menu is turned on now also just make sure with dealing with the menus you you need to make sure that you also have primary navigation turned on in your Genesis theme settings as well I right, notice I have that checked and that's normally checked by default but just in case you might want to 
want to check that. So I have all my sample content. I've got menus. Um, I've got all these different pages. I've got all my posts in here, and uh, you can uh, do that very easily. And that's included with every Genesis child theme.